So the first test is the 100 megahertz test. So in this case, we're aggregating two carriers, um, and the other one is we we lift the um, modulation scheme used in the network. So we go from 64 gram to 256 gram. So in demonstrating the 100 megabits per second service today on fixed wireless, we've got a glimpse of the product that we'll actually launch this time next year, um, and that's quite amazing. Again, when you consider where we came from, originally designing for 12 megabits per second, to have the support of our vendors and the technology to come along and actually deliver 100 megabits per second is fantastic. Netcom has actually provided us with the ability to do that and the engineering know-how and expertise to, to bring that on and enable that service for our customers. So at this time, we're not going to we're, we're letting it aggregate all four carriers, and we're not going to shape it to any particular speed here. We're just going to see what's the maximum throughput you can get from a single device, basically. And, and this is a demonstration of this is a prototype of the the entity we'll be deploying uh, next year. Ericsson as a standards-based solution provider um, had to work very closely with Netcom to develop a, uh, the ability to deliver layer two services over a standard layer three mobile set of infrastructure. So there's some very clever development work done both by Netcom and Ericsson jointly to allow that solution to work and, and of course we managed to achieve that successfully. The final demonstration is the other aspect we've talked about briefly which is what would it take to do a gigabit in the cell? And so we've talked about there's 11 carriers we've got access to. Yeah, that's 11 20 megahertz carriers. That's four on band 40, which is the 2.3 gigahertz band, and seven carriers we have on band 42, which is the um, three and a half gig band. <coughs> um, so by aggregating 11 carriers, and these are 20 megahertz LTE carriers, and we have a TDD LTE network, um, what's the maximum network performance we can see? And so to facilitate that, where we've got three of these prototype NTDs and we're bonding, we've essentially got three Ethernet cables coming straight into the PC, the centre PC. Today's demonstration showed a gigabit per second, in fact 1.1 gigabits per second over a fixed wireless connection and that was extraordinary. The, it was a very smooth demonstration, the technology worked perfectly and obviously the hard work from all of the demo guys paid off very well. <laughs>